OpenAI has just released two new models, the O1 Preview and the O1 Mini. These are the first two in their reasoning AI models. And also this is their much rumored and hyped strawberry model. So in this video, I'm gonna break down what these two models are all about, what they're good at, what they're not so good at. And later in the video, I'm gonna share with you, do these two new models really change the game for us online business owners in our day-to-day -day use cases? So with these two new models, the big difference between these models and say ChatGPT 4.0 is that these new models are trained on the reinforcement of solving complex problems, complex reasoning. Essentially what these models will do is when you give it a complex problem to solve or a big question to kind of figure out, it's going to stop and think before it answers. Essentially act more like a human when given a similar problem to solve. And the disciplines that are benefiting the absolute most from these models are in the STEM disciplines. So science, technology, engineering, and math, especially in coding. My understanding is that the when you're combining, say like O1 Mini and Cursor AI to create coding, to create an app or a new tool or something like that, that it is giving great results and making things so much easier and faster to accomplish. So if those are your areas of interest or what you do in your job or what have you, amazing. I think you're gonna get a lot of benefit out of these models. But if you are in the online business space, and you are primarily using AI for things like um, analyzing spreadsheets, for example, or creating content or repurposing content. These are not gonna be the models that you'll wanna go to. I think you wanna continue using like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is my go-to for all content writing. So the difference between O1 Preview and O1 Mini, as you see here in the screen, is O1 Preview is an early preview. Uh, both of these models are both in beta, by the way. So you are limited in the number of queries that you can do over a seven day period for both the O1 Preview and the O1 Mini. You get a few more in the O1 Mini model, but the O1 Preview is an early preview of our O1 model, says OpenAI, designed to reason about hard problems using broad general knowledge about the world. O1 Mini is a faster and cheaper version of O1, particularly adept at coding, math, and science tasks where extensive general knowledge is not required. So again, as you can see here, these O1 models offer significant advancements in reasoning, but not intended to replace ChatGPT 4.0 in all use cases. Another thing is, is that these two models do not have the ability to access the internet. You also can't attach images or files uh, when prompting these models, which is something that I do all the time as an online business owner in my day-to-day -day use cases. Going back here real quick to the difference between the O1 Mini and the O1 Preview, where it says it's a faster and cheaper version of O1. O1 is significantly more expensive than ChatGPT 4 meaning it's $15 per 1 million input tokens and $60 per 1 million output tokens. So it is considerably uh, more expensive. The mini is cheaper than that. So again, if you're doing any kind of coding, uh, building tools or what have you, then the O1 mini is likely going to be your go-to model for those types of things. So let's take these two models for a test drive over in ChatGPT4. Uh, as I'm copying this prompt here, so this is a prompt that is from the OpenAI site uh, when it's going through different um, uh, disciplines here, coding, math, crossword, English. I'm taking the English one and I'm taking the one from the OpenAI uh, O1 preview. So I'm gonna go over into ChatGPT. So you're gonna see that right here. And I'm gonna go to the O1 preview model. So. Um, again, before I recorded this video, I recorded this video and I couldn't use it because of the dimensions. Um, I forgot to change the dimensions, but anyway, I got a really interesting answer when I asked the same question to O1 preview and to O1 mini. And, uh, let's see what it does for this, uh, answer here. One of the first things you're going to notice is that it is taking, it will take longer to give you an answer. As you can see here, it's thinking and it's going through its chain of thought and it's sharing with you what it's doing. So evaluating options, it's saying, assessing the options, understanding food reporting, 
evaluating the, the reliability. Now, I will say that this is the third time I've done this exact same prompt, and this is the longest that it took. The shortest that it took was nine seconds, and the other time it did it in 12 seconds. Uh, each time it did give the same answer of answer D. And when you go to the thought for 15 seconds, when you do the little drop down here, it's gonna show you the chain of thought. It's reasoning about why it gave you the answer that it did. Now, I wanna do something here. I wanna count up the number of um, points here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, 10. And I'll share with you why I'm doing that when I go the 01 mini model here in just a second. But you know, with this prompt here, it's saying the following, I'm not gonna read the whole thing to you, but it's saying the following passage is the draft of an excerpt from a contemporary book about maintaining health. And it gives 23 different points here. And it says in sentence number two, reproduce below, which of the following versions of the bolded text best explains the writer's position? expressed in the main clause of the sentence. And so this is looking for a you know complex reasoning to be able to solve that problem and answer that question appropriately. Now it gave us D right here. Go back over to the OpenAI site and we scroll down here. It shows us that it gave us D as the answer. So let's put the exact same thing into the uh, O1 mini model and start that fresh. Let's go put the whole thing back in there and let's see what it does. The first thing you're gonna notice is it's a lot faster. It's still doing the analysis and the reasoning and chain of thought. But as you can see here, it did thought for a few seconds. It's also giving us the answer of A, which is obviously different from the answer of D. Now, again, notice how quick it was. It said it thought for a few seconds. And remember when I counted up the number of points that it made in the O1 preview, when showing the chain of thought, there was 10 in that one. And this one is two actually. So my hypothesis is, is that in order to answer this specific question, it does need the longer time in order to reason through and analyze longer chain of thought in order to come up with the right answer. So I don't know. Remember, both these models are still in beta. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens with these models. And so again, if you are in the science, math, engineering, technology, coding, these models are likely gonna be super, super helpful for you and make your job a whole lot easier. If you're an online business owner like me doing pretty normal, if you will, uh, online business use cases day to day, this is not a major breakthrough. I'm not excited about it. I'm excited about the technology behind it and where this can take AI models going forward in the future. But as it stands right now, as hyped and rumored as this strawberry model was, I'm not super psyched. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel here. Like the video. Also, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.